Initially, uh, this developed to be a problem um, when I saw primary care about the soreness in my shoulder. In follow-up, as it got worse, and progressively over a number of years, it got more painful, restricted more and more of the things I was used to doing. Well, Mr. Tobin came to our clinic, came to see me with the chief complaint of pain in his right shoulder, actually pain in both shoulders, but much worse in the right shoulder. The x-rays and the examination that we did showed that he had advanced osteoarthritis or a, just a degeneration of both joints much worse on the right. We did the right shoulder first and it went quite well. Uh, been through physical therapy and at this point uh, the therapist said I was fully functional and therefore we could proceed and move on to the second one which was the long-term plan anyway. The surgery that he had was essentially a procedure in which we remove all the spurs, grind the ball down, get it back to its shape, and then put it, its anatomic surface on. So you haven't changed anything except for the fact that now you have a resurfaced head. And on the socket side, instead of putting it on top where it can loosen, which is the most common complication of the standard, is you inlay it into the bone and then you preserve that anatomy and obviously it's much less invasive you're not cutting the bone so you're losing more blood and 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 less opportunities for complications to occur my eventual goal uh, and what i look forward to uh, following the second surgery uh, will be again fully functional in both shoulders so that I can get back to the things I want to do and enjoy doing. Being a surgeon is a tremendous privilege because for somebody to ask you to operate on them is, is the greatest privilege and compliment you could have. And then when they do well and they're back to their activities, it's an extremely rewarding sensation for me to know that you can give people back their life. <laughs>